This week, we'll find out how far one man was thrown by a tornado and survived, how Pokemon can improve your memory, and why this guy has plungers on his chest. But first, Ma Hui from China is about to demonstrate a very rare skill. It's not his ability to drink water, it's his ability to regurgitate it. He was a human water fountain for 5 minutes and 51.88 seconds. That's six times longer than the previous record. Last week, we featured this coffee taster's tongue, insured for $14 million. Here are some other pricey facial features. A Dutch winemaker insured his nose for $7.8 million. He claimed it was to protect his livelihood. These dentures are insured for $10 million, and they once belonged to George Washington. In 2010, professional American footballer and shampoo company spokesman, Troy Polamalu, had his trademark locks insured for $1 million. Can you think of anyone whose hair could be worth more? Let us know in the comments. We'll feature our favorite answers. Did you know Guinness World Records has a really popular Italian TV show? It features the wildest record holders from around the world, like Mr. Yakuza from Japan. He is a man of many specific talents. His records include most matches lit with plungers attached to the body in one minute. 73. You're officially amazing! Most objects removed simultaneously from under glass bottles with a ruler. No hands. 6. Most hoops pass through by a table tennis ball, elevated with a hairdryer held between the legs in one minute. Eleven. We'll come back to Mr. Yakuza in future episodes. Okay. Think you're a Pokemon fan? Well, let's see how you get on against Kenneth. He identifies these Pokémon at lightning speed, not by name, but by Pokédex number. 60, 46, 26, 21, 1, 32, 104. Kenneth says Pokémon can be a great way to train your memory. Okay. Kenneth also trains his memory by remembering decimal points of pi. He can recount 5,555 digits, but he would need to add a lot more to break Rajiv Mina's record. He spent 10 hours blindfolded recounting 70,000 decimal places. What is the toughest thing you've had to memorize? Let us know in the comments. We'll feature some of our favorites next week. Lim may be the world's best giant Jenga player. He removed 23 pieces from this tower without it collapsing. Let us know in the comments if you think you have Jenga skills to beat him. Did you know studies have found pigs to be more intelligent than dogs or three-year-old humans? Twist. So, it's no wonder Pongo the pig can perform 15 tricks in one minute. Could your three-year-old do that? Saluta. Up. Sube. If you thought planking was back-breaking work, check out what Narianan did. Talking of planking, Yosef Salek holds the iconic record for the longest plank at 9 hours, 38 minutes, 47 seconds. A new Guinness World Records title! The endurance athlete clearly hasn't suffered enough. He's back Go. with the fastest half marathon barefoot on ice and snow. Yosef managed an impressive 1 hour, 50 minutes, 42 seconds. He's not the only record holder drawn to the cold this week. Yasuko from Japan held her breath and swam 413 feet, 4.62 inches, under the ice. Last week, we asked how long Ruba held the eight-angle pose. Congratulations to this commenter who came very close. 
Kip Watson broke his own record of most consecutive basketball free throws from a wheelchair. But how many consecutive shots did he make? Leave your guess in the comments for your chance to be featured in next week's episode of Records Weekly. Got a spare 24 hours? Maybe you could do 8,600 pull-ups like Gary from Australia. Or push a lawnmower for 79.26 miles like fellow Australian Peter. Here's a record you can easily try at home. Dude, this blow it up. All you need is a balloon, one other human, and a lot of patience. Nate and Sam kept their balloon in the air for three hours, 58 minutes, 44 seconds. How long can you last? Go it, boys. In 2006, 19-year-old Matt Suter was swept up by 150 mile per hour winds. Pulled from his trailer and knocked unconscious, Matt awoke 1,307 feet away from where he started. That is over four football fields. With so few injuries, Matt's doctors confirmed he'd been carried through the air by the storm, earning him the record for the farthest distance survived in a tornado. We'll leave you with this amazing dragon dance. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us to share our amazing record holders with the world. Bye.